JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA here at ITW 2016, and with me is Al Bergio. He's the CEO of Console. Al, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here, and uh, quite a week for you. I know this week, big news on the ITW floor is that you have a rename. Yes, yeah, we, um, 2011, we, our company was founded with the name IIX. Uh, last year, we unveiled our platform, um, our console platform, and um, uh, this week we announced the name of the company. It was a name change from IIX to console. Console, so it's a platform. Yes. And it's got some unique attributes, um, key differentiators, particularly layer two, layer three. So can you tell us a little bit more about um, console, the benefits and the unique identifiers? Yeah, absolutely. So um, what what we essentially have created with console is a global uh, platform, software and interconnection platform that helps enable uh, organizations of any, of any kind to directly connect to a global ecosystem of other organizations. This could be um, cloud infrastructure providers, SaaS companies, or other business critical partners to one's business. So think of it as enterprise connecting to enterprise or enterprise connecting to cloud or cloud connecting to cloud. Um, and they can do this from any location. Um, and we've made it as simple as clicking a few buttons. Um, so complete internet bypass that can happen in seconds. And I heard you say social. Is there a social component, like a LinkedIn type of feature? Yeah, absolutely. So um, obviously, if I want to connect to another organization, I can't necessarily just do that. I have to um, speak to somebody, or historically, I would have to. And so within console, we actually created this concept of, uh, or integrated the concepts around social 2.0. So literally, I guess you can think of it like a social network. Mm -hmm. um, but as opposed to professionals or for connecting professionals together, it's uh, meant to really connect uh, organizations together, enterprise network to enterprise network. And um, so the ability to follow an organization, follow an, um, an individual, contribute content, um, but the key value prop obviously is to, uh, around performance and security, the ability for one organization to connect or network, regardless of where they're located, to someone else, and that may be in the same city, the other side of the planet, or the other side of the country. And we've created the virtual equivalent of, of allowing two organizations to exist as if they're in the same building with a wire between the two of them. So my company could uh, have a profile, yours does as well. I follow you, you follow me back, and then I can just interconnect with you with one click. That's correct, yeah. So um, profile pages obviously are meant to build trust. Um, um, I, and uh, identify, right? You want to make sure you're sending a request to connect to the right organization. And, um, and so with that, um, uh, really our design approach, uh, we encapsulated that capability. But ultimately what really makes us unique is that um, we, we didn't just focus on creating what I would say private highway or layer two automation um, to give that either physical or virtual wire equivalent between two organizations. We, we created virtual routing technology that um, ultimately you can think of it like um, private highway and you don't need a manual to assemble a car, program the car for data then move on that highway. All of that happens within seconds. So private highway car automatically drives. In other words, data is flowing instantly. So for my private highway that I would ride to connect to you, mm -hmm. How am I physically connecting to you? I use console, and how many pops then around the yeah, world do you have? So we, so we have um, today over 160 um, pops or points of presence across um, North America, Europe, and the EMEA region, and uh, more recently have added um, points of presence within the Asia Pacific region. Um, we have data center partners, we have network service provider partners, and through any of uh, these partners, an organization can connect the console. And by with being connected to the little as one of these pops or note, what we refer to as console node, um, you can connect to anybody else on the platform, regardless of where they're located, through a very slick and I'm obviously biased, but slick user interface that um, as allows this to happen within seconds. Yeah, actually, um, you were kind enough to give me a demo, and I and I did see a really nice, clean user interface, which I, I, uh, I appreciate. So, uh, from a marketing perspective, um, so for our clients who do want to uh, to learn more on um, our viewers and readers, how do they reach uh, reach out to you? Um, we obviously are on the web. It's uh, console.to, um, or to sign up, it's uh, go. 
console.to slash join. What does the .to stand for? So the concept of really this isn't necessarily connecting to one organization. You can connect to um, what we like to say, everything direct connects. So it's console to this, console to that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so you heard it here, console.to. And thank you, Al, for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.